I don't want to be a clout kid. I don't want to be a clout kid. Thank you, King. First of all, now, thank you very much. This is great. I also would like for everyone to be mindful of the, 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 the thirst and the urgency and the need to speak on the situation. Tell them to change too big. Whoa, man. Tell that nigga to change too big. He ain't got no friends. They're not telling them. <laughs> It appears 50 Cent has once again ignited controversy, this time involving Busta Rhymes and Diddy. Known for standing by Diddy even after his arrest, Busta is now facing shocking claims from 50. If Busta ever tried to frown me, <laughs> hit you with no delay, so what you saying, yo? Silly with that nine milli, what the deal, yo? Allegedly, according to 50 Cent, Busta may have pushed his own daughter into Diddy's circle. The accusation has sparked a whirlwind of gossip, leaving fans questioning industry loyalties. Is 50 just stirring the pot? Or could there be truth to this claim? How far will some go to maintain power in the industry? Let's find out. As of late, there's been a lot of online talks surrounding Diddy and all of his past relationships, largely due to some disturbing footage that surfaced online last week. In the footage, the Bad Boy Records founder seemingly a his then girlfriend, Cassie. He's since apologized, though, it did little to quell the explosive backlash. The footage prompted fans to dig into Diddy's history with Cassie, Kim Porter, and more. Now, social media sleuths have dug up an old clip of an interaction he once had with Coy LeRae. In the clip, he can be seen chatting with the No More Parties performer at a restaurant. Looking on from the sidelines was Busta Rhymes, who previously collaborated with Coy on the song, Luxury Life. After listening in on their conversation for a moment, Busta Rhymes gave Diddy a playful nudge, seemingly telling him to watch what he says and does. Social media users note that Busta Rhymes looked a bit concerned though it's unclear whether or not he was serious or simply joking around. Coy herself has yet to address Diddy's latest scandal or the resurfaced video of Busta Rhymes stepping in during her conversation with the mogul. Her father, Benzino, on the other hand, has been a vocal supporter of Diddy amid his legal issues. But people are now speculating that Busta might have Diddied her own daughter, and it can be justified because he has been very vocal about Diddy recently. At the Venom The Last Dance premiere, Busta Rhymes shared his thoughts on the Diddy drama and told Extra that everyone needs to chill out. He pointed out how the public is running wild with opinions and jokes about the teeth-ficking accusations against Diddy. Busta made it clear that if there's any truth to the charges, then yeah, the law should handle it. But what really bugs him is how fast people are jumping to conclusions and making snap judgments. Also, would like for everyone to be mindful of the, 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 the thirst and the urgency and the need to speak on the situation. I Busta Rhymes wants people to pump the brakes and let the truth come out before making any judgments. He said everyone should back off for now, noting how his feed is swamped with people jumping in with their opinions and calling it way too extra. He's on the same page as Method Man, who's also tired of seeing Diddy's case mixed up with general hip hop talk. Busta and Diddy go way back as friends and collaborators, dropping multiple tracks together, and Busta isn't alone in showing some support for the bad boy boss during this tough time. I think a lot of times people don't realize how insensitive it could be to have opinions on things that you have no understanding of outside of what you're being told. Busta Rhymes public show of support for Diddy has left people scratching their heads, wondering what's behind it. Why back someone with a reputation so tangled in controversies from industry power plays to messy personal life claims? With Busta's own career peppered with its fair share of whispers, talks of secretive relationships and eyebrow raising fashion choices, it's adding layers to the speculation. Though he's never outright confirmed or denied these rumors, some think this might be why he's stepping in for Diddy now, 
Maybe it's a case of solidarity, knowing what it's like to be on the receiving end of public scrutiny. Whatever his reasons, Busta's stance has definitely sparked more questions than answers. Pulled him to the section, like through the rope, and tucked him off in the corner. So I'm looking like, well, he ain't come with us. Well, I know he was in the little group. So if I go out with somebody, like a group of people. The bond between Busta Rhymes and Diddy seems to go beyond just being industry peers. Some wonder if Busta sees echoes of his own challenges in the cloud of accusations that often surround Diddy. Or maybe there is an underlying connection built on shared secrets and mutual understanding. People in the industry often talk about an unspoken brotherhood, where loyalty trumps public perception, especially among those who have faced similar trials. Speculation is swirling that Busta's public support might be more than just friendly loyalty. Could it be a calculated move to keep his own reputation safe or steer clear of unwanted scrutiny? With the entertainment world's long history of controversies and cover-ups, some believe that Busta's show of solidarity could be part of a bigger strategy to protect himself. There's even a theory that these gestures are coded signals, a way of reinforcing alliances or debts within Hollywood's tight-knit, secretive circles. He stayed in there with them, bro. For sure, bro. You ain't never heard about this before, have you? Bro, this common knowledge, bro. Like, Busta Rhymes' silence and unwavering support for Diddy have sparked questions about whether he's trying to keep his own past under wraps or shield himself from similar scrutiny. It raises eyebrows. Why would he go out on a limb like this unless there's more at stake? Adding a new twist to the speculation, Ice Cube's recent comments about Busta Rhymes aren't just idle chatter. Known for calling out the powerful gatekeepers of the industry, Cube's words carry weight. He's made a name for himself by pulling back the curtain on the hidden alliances and power plays that shape even the most successful artists' careers. By pointing the finger at Busta, Cube might be hinting at deeper connections and veiled truths, suggesting this is more than just celebrity drama. It's a look into the secret networks that keep the entertainment world spinning. I'm talking about the club of gatekeepers that we all gotta deal with. There's speculation that Ice Cube's recent remarks are more than just a passing comment. They could be a signal that he's witnessed some of the inner workings of Hollywood firsthand. Cube has always been outspoken about the gatekeepers, the select few with the power to make or break careers. And he's alluded to knowing about the hidden alliances and shadowy deals that run deep among industry elites. If Cube has seen these dynamics play out, his decision to point a finger at Busta Rhymes could be an attempt to shed light on connections that have stayed in the dark for too long. The timing and pointed nature of his comments suggests there might be more beneath the surface, hinting that Busta's loyalty to Diddy could be tied to a broader, more complex web of influence and protection. Whether as a witness or participant in these dealings, Ice Cube's move may be an attempt to expose what he sees as the truth behind the industry's veil. You know who they are, and they definitely know who they are. Um, a lot of people would be like, what, who, who, who? Come on, man, stop playing. Busta teaming up with Diddy, a guy who's surrounded by all kinds of allegations and rumors, might not be as simple as just backing a friend. Some people think Busta's loyalty to Diddy is more about sticking with the same powerful groups Ice Cube has been warning about. Cube's comments seem like a heads up, pointing out how deep these connections run. It's like he's saying that Busta's loyalty isn't just a choice, it's something he has to do to stay in good with the people who really call the shots. He wanted me to do what he wanted me to do. He used to force me to come to work his way. This new twist really adds weight to Ice Cube's earlier warnings about the gatekeepers controlling the entertainment world. Could Cube be hinting that Busta's past, filled with rumors and sketchy decisions, has locked him into a game with certain rules? Maybe Busta's bond with Diddy isn't just about friendship, it could be about protection and survival in an industry where staying loyal to the right people can make or break you. Things took an even crazier turn when rumors started floating that Busta might have lived a lifestyle similar to Diddy's. Then, Big Homie CC, a former bodyguard, 
stirred the pot by claiming Busta had some strange requests involving young men. The bodyguard even went as far as calling Busta a super zest monster, making the whole situation even more explosive. I've seen you talking about Busta Rhymes before. Oh yeah. In some of your videos. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Super zest monster. Big Homie CC claims that within Busta's entourage, there was a lawyer who happened to be gay. And Busta apparently wanted him in his section so much that he pulled the lawyer over, sticking him in a corner with the group. The lawyer ended up staying there with Busta and the crew. Pulled him to the side and then they walled him off like, like this man. <laughs> I'm like, damn. And that little dude was so happy. Big Homie CC went on to claim that Busta's alleged interest in men is pretty much an open secret. Adding fuel to the fire, a new video from a popular male YouTuber has also gone viral. The YouTuber, who's openly gay, shared that Busta once tried to pick him up outside a club, inviting him into his VIP section. He says Busta even held his hand softly, asking him to join him inside. Thinking Busta was just being friendly, the YouTuber agreed and went along with him. I'm walking across the street and Busta Rhymes just grabbed my hand. And he's shaking, he holding my hand. Now I ain't know it was Busta at first. The YouTuber claims that his boyfriend got jealous, leading to a full-blown argument between the two of them on a New York City street. So he never actually made it inside the club with Busta. This isn't the first time Busta's made waves over rumors related to the LGBTQ plus community. Hip hop historically hasn't been the most welcoming space for LGBTQ plus individuals, largely due to a lack of representation over the years. Many have followed an unspoken rule, there's no issue as long as no one comes out. And with influential rappers like Busta Rhymes sidestepping questions on how the LGBTQ plus community might be embarrassed if they did come out, it hasn't exactly encouraged up and coming entertainers to feel fully comfortable in their own identities. However, the hip hop scene is slowly evolving thanks to artists like Lil Nas EX, who openly refuses to date celebrities, and Frank Ocean with his impressive net worth and influence. More and more people in hip hop are starting to embrace the LGBTQ plus community. Even veteran artists like Snoop Dogg have begun to show support. He once said, you can't be in a locker room full of MF Tough A dudes, then all of a sudden say, hey man, I like you. You know, that's gonna be tough. Many rappers have changed their views, including Snoop himself, but not everyone in the game is ready to embrace this progress or discuss it openly. This just shows that there's still a long way to go before hip hop becomes the inclusive world Snoop envisions. Busta Rhymes, who famously walked out of an interview when asked about gay rappers, has had a complex relationship with this topic. Busta, whose real name is Trevor George Smith Jr., has been in the rap game since the mid-1980s. By the early 2000s, he was at the top of his game, becoming a bona fide superstar. During that decade, Busta wasn't just thriving as a solo artist, he was also collaborating with some of the biggest names in music. This laid the groundwork for many legendary collaborations. He worked with stars like Mariah Carey, the Pussycat Dolls, Chris Brown, Lil Wayne, and more, helping him reach a new audience beyond just hip hop. Plus, Busta earned a reputation as one of the fastest rappers on the planet. Many rappers like Snoop have changed their views over time, but not everyone in the game is ready to fully embrace this progress or discuss it openly. It highlights just how far hip hop still has to go before it becomes the inclusive space Snoop envisions. Busta Rhymes, who famously walked out of an interview when asked about gay rappers, has had a pretty complicated relationship with this issue. Busta, whose real name is Trevor George Smith Jr., has been in the rap game since the mid 80s. By the early 2000s, he was a full on superstar. He wasn't just thriving as a solo artist during that decade, he was also teaming up with some of the biggest names in music, laying the foundation for legendary collaborations. He worked with icons like Mariah Carey, the Pussycat Dolls, Chris Brown, Lil Wayne, and more, which helped him build a broader fan base outside of just hip hop. And on top of that, Busta became known as one of the fastest rappers in the game. With his elite status, 
Every word Busta said was closely scrutinized by both fans and the media. That meant his comments about gay rappers and his reaction to being asked about LGBTQ plus issues in hip hop became a part of his legacy. Given how influential Busta was in hip hop before he became a household name, it made perfect sense for him to be featured in the PBS documentary, Hip Hop, Beyond Beats and Rhymes. From these flappers, Brooklyn, I thought Long Island was soft. My moms told me we had to go. I was vexed. I ain't even gonna front. I got to Long Island, I saw flower beds. And the documentary covered several topics that were challenging for many in the series to discuss. And for Busta, that meant diving into the issue of homophobia in hip hop culture. When asked why there aren't more openly gay people in hip hop and why homophobia runs so rampant, Busta didn't clarify his stance any further than he had with previous questions. Instead, he chose to stand up and walk away from the interview, seemingly prioritizing his reputation over addressing the issue directly. Busta Rhymes has weighed in on Frank Ocean's decision to publicly announce that he is gay, saying, whatever that man does in his personal space is that man's choice and that man's business. Earlier this week, Ocean publicly revealed that he was a homosexual on his Tumblr blog, saying that he was in love with another man. MTV News spoke to rapper Busta Rhymes about what he thought of Ocean's announcement. Rhymes explained that he believed a person's S preference should have no bearing on their careers and for Ocean people should judge him on his musical talents alone. Rhymes said, whatever that man does in his personal space is that man's choice and that man's business. I am an extremely huge fan of Frank Ocean. His music is impeccable to me, and as far as I'm concerned, I respect the dude completely. He added to MTV, just keep that music popping the way you've been keeping it, brother, and you got my money. You got my money from the concerts, you got my money from when you put them albums in the stores, and it ain't gonna stop. As long as you continue to contribute your greatness, God bless him. Speaking specifically about whether the hip hop community was ready to accept an openly gay or bisexual artist. Rhymes answered, I don't know if it's just about hip hop being willing to accept it. I think the whole world is ready to accept whatever people choose to be in life. From hip hop all the way down to the common man that walks the streets on the earth every day, we're at a place in life where we gotta respect and accept what people choose as their path that they wanna walk in life because ultimately you want people to respect what you choose as your path and your journey in life. He lost some fans in the process or maybe he was trying to hide something. Many eyewitnesses have said that Busta Rhymes seemed uncomfortable around people who identify with the LGBTQ plus community. While he might not have agreed with the lifestyles of many of his fans, that didn't justify him using homophobic slurs when addressing them. In short, Busta's bad behavior may have cost him some supporters. In 2006, he showed up at a restaurant in Miami filled with transvestites, gay men, and drag queens. Given Busta's apparent disdain for the LGBTQ plus community, or at least what he wants people to think, it was puzzling why he chose that spot. It was there that he publicly expressed his feelings about gay people. First time I got some pussy, I could come tell my mother. I could sit down and tell my mother about how that felt. You know what I'm saying? I could sit and tell my moms, you know, my first wet dream was Busta Rhymes has been one of Diddy's most vocal defenders since the mogul's legal troubles first erupted, consistently standing by him in the face of mounting accusations. While others have distanced themselves, Busta has always been in Diddy's corner, even when the media went into overdrive questioning the hip hop mogul's character. This blind loyalty has led many to speculate about the true nature of their relationship. Whispers have circulated for years that Busta might not just be a supporter, but a key member of what some have dubbed the freak off gang a term tied to Diddy's controversial inner circle of friends and associates with questionable reputations. Enter 50 Cent. The longstanding rivalry between him and Busta has always made headlines, but lately things seem to be shifting from playful digs to something more serious. Their beef, once marked by humorous exchanges and petty squabbles, has taken on a sharper edge 
especially as Busta's close connection with Diddy begins to draw more attention. 50 Cent, never one to hold back, is now calling out Busta in a way that's impossible to ignore. As Busta's loyalty to Diddy continues to play out in the public eye, 50 is seizing the opportunity to stir the pot, calling out what many already suspect about their ties. The gloves are off, and with the heat around Diddy intensifying, 50 Cent is making it clear that no one, not even Busta, is off limits when it comes to the drama that's unfolding. For his daughter, the situation is even more complicated. As a young woman in the public eye, she's now being thrust into the conversation with fans and critics alike questioning how much control she had over her own choices. One person wrote, yo, that's some OG sha. A cheek tap is diabolical. You touch her, I touch you, simple. Another one added, Godfather, no other words needed. The insinuation that Busta might have orchestrated or at least allowed his daughter's involvement with Diddy only adds another layer to the already controversial narrative. With 50 Cent taking every opportunity to expose what he sees as the truth behind the scenes, Busta and Diddy's connection is starting to look a lot darker than anyone could have imagined. This drama is far from over, and as the tensions rise, it's clear that no one, not even Busta's own family, is off limits when it comes to the fallout from this explosive situation.